Hello, I hope everybody's doing great. Today I'm super excited. Um, Amanda from Cuticula contacted me on Instagram and asked if I would like the monthly subscription box free in exchange for a video on my own channel, which if you're here, you know I'm making those videos anyways. So you know I was excited. So it's definitely, uh, you know, my first PR or gift from a company. And the fact that it's from Cuticula was just so awesome because as you probably know, they were my first company that I ordered from, from Indie Nail Polish. And she's consistently been my top favorites. I mean, there's a lot of great ones. I mean, a lot of great ones, but Cuticula is definitely the one that I seek out every chance I get. So I am so excited. And she did send it to me a little bit early in hopes of getting the video out because normally I would already be sharing these with you. But of course, by the time I get it, it's usually and then get to show you it's too late for you to sign up for that box. But I did get it a little early. So if you like the polishes you do have until June 20th and you can get this uh this box that i'm going to show you today and you're gonna love them okay stay tuned okay before we get started i do want to say thank you to amanda um it's just such a huge compliment that she thinks i can do her nail polish justice so thank you so much for sending these to me and i also want to say um i've been wanting to do live swatches for a while but um, you know, it's, it's a whole different setup and I just wasn't comfortable with it. So I really, since I only have two nail polishes here, I really wanted to give it a go for this video. So I did my normal swatches that you guys are used to seeing. And then I gave it a go with some live swatches. Um, one of them didn't do, go very well, but I'll explain why I left it in there. I thought it showcased something important that I speak on quite often when I talk about cuticulous nail polishes. Okay, let me get these out of the box. Okay, so first it comes in this box. I have unboxed a couple of these on my channel. So if you wanna see a closer up of how it comes, but I'll do it real quick right now. Both the polishes come in this box. There is a heart with a question mark there in the middle because you can be um, surprised if you want to. You know that she does send you a spoiler email if you want it, but you don't have to have it. It is a separate sign up. It's a newsletter where you sign up for it. <laughs> okay, let's get these out of the box because it's so exciting. Okay, and her boxes. So, you know, her individual nail polishes come in boxes and they are so, so stinking cute. Look at this. Oh my goodness. All right, there are dandelions on the sides. Let me show you, so, so cute. Hearts on the top, They're, it's just adorable. It's really hard for me to throw away these boxes. And let me tell you, I got a lot of them at this point. <laughs> they, I mean, I can recycle them, they're cardboard boxes, and so I will, but it is tough. <laughs> All right, let me show you, oh my goodness. I mean, I'm definitely gonna show you closer up bottle so shots, but Pulling them out of these boxes is so fun. All right, now if you watch my videos, purple's not my favorite color. <laughs> and this next polish is not purple. It's like a ruby color, but to my eyes, there is, oh, look at that, a touch of purple in that base. I swear, she's like, I'm gonna send you your favorite formula, which this is, I mean, like I said, I love all of her polishes, but this is, at the moment, my very favorite formula. And she's like, you're going to love that touch of purple. <laughs> and boy, was she right. This perp this polish is amazing. I think te technically it is a ruby jelly base is the way she worded it. But look at that, guys. All right, let's get into the swatches. 
Okay, I forgot to mention these, both these polishes are based on Alice in Wonderland. So the first one is Unbirthday. It's a baby blue with lime green, blue shifting shimmer and small silver holographic flakes. So I did show this here in three coats, but I wanted to show um, after two coats, you could see that the polish is completely opaque. There is no nail line. So if you prefer two coats, I think that's absolutely doable. I, whenever the formula um, allows me to, I go in uh, thinner, as thin as possible. And then with that third coat, I really focus the most of the polish around my cuticle area because of my painting style. Um, it's not always crisp around my cuticle area. So that's what I do with the third coat, focus it around there, try to get that a crisp, clean line around my cuticle area. And you could see that's really what, where I, uh, hopefully you could see that's what I'm doing here. But so I do wanna say in real life, this polish is a touch lighter. Um, and what I mean by real life is like, in my house without the lighting on. So this polish, those particles and that shimmer just wanted to grab the light and shine. It was so beautiful, a little shifty, but um, whenever they're, and I don't have special lighting in here and I sure in the heck don't have sun. <laughs> Gosh darn it. But, um, I say that because I live in Oregon right now, but you know, I don't have special like lighting in here. I just have like, you know, just little LED light type of thing and then my normal room lights. But anyways, it didn't matter that I didn't have special lighting. It grabbed the light like most of her polishes do. And to me, I thought it was so perfect for summer, this color, because it was, it felt like, like that beautiful ocean water that you see on TV where they're going to those beautiful clean beaches and it's just that clear water. It just felt like it belonged on your nails during summer. Next one is Cheshire Cat Smile. It's a ruby jelly base with glowing red, pink, green, gold iridescent flakes and a black and black flakes. Okay. So for this one, you could see on that first coat, I did go in a little bit messy and I flooded my cuticles uh, just on the top, but you don't have to worry about that with this color, even though it is so dark, you could see on the next coat, I was able to clean that up without any residue left behind. That's part of the magic with her polishes. They clean up so easily. I don't have an issue with them staining every part of my cuticle, which is definitely common in extremely pigmented polishes. Okay, so you can see the second coat. My heart really wanted to redo this because this is my first time I've ever done live swatching, but I feel like the second coat showcases what I'm always raving about here about cuticulous formulas. You don't want your nail polish to dry so fast, you don't have time to manipulate it. So I was able to second guess myself. I put too much nail polish on and I needed to take it off, but I was, you know, taking too much time. I was almost overworking it. And then I even backtracked and took more off. And I was able to manipulate the polish, try to get it where I, where I want it and make mistakes without it completely ruining the whole nail. So I feel like I have a lot of control over these polishes. And then you could see that by the third coat, I really focused it, same thing like I did last time, focused it during the cuticle area. That's where I created a bald spot and I do that, that is, unfortunately part of my painting style i do create bald spots i am not a perfect painter i do have curved nails and that's another issue trying to get polish all over the whole nail i do get it on my skin and it doesn't matter how pigmented her polishes are they do not stain my cuticles. Now I'm not claiming every polish she's ever made is never going to stain but when i say 
overall, in a general sense, I do not have issues with that. And it just adds to how much I love her polishes because I do love dark nail polish. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's talk some more about this freaking color. So I, I, you can see I did do three coats. And so I used Cuticula Top Coat and it, you know, smooths out so good. I love, love, love her top coats. And the brush is so, I, I don't know, I'm going to harp on a brush. I always do. She uses such great brushes. They do fan out really easily. And um, I mean, it doesn't fan out as easy when you're using you know, this super packed polish with glitter. But when you get your top coat and that brush just fans out direct all into the curves of your nails, it's just so gratifying. Anyways, didn't she just prove me wrong? I swear, is it, tell me if there's a touch of purple in there. Now her description says ruby base, ruby jelly base, but I know she put a touch of purple in there. <laughs> And I freaking love it. But if you see these, I mean, they catch all the light. So obviously I have not wore this color out yet. I did, I did just get it, but it is identical formula as um, some of the polishes from the Shattered 2, Shattered Fantasy 2 collection. And they are my favorite polishes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to calm down. But those flakes just grab onto any light. Yes, they're gonna look amazing in the sunlight, but I'm telling you, you're in the bathroom looking at your nails, you're in the kitchen looking at your nails. They are so, so gorgeous. This formula is absolutely like my favorite. I want every single color and every single shade, including this one that has a touch of purple. <laughs> okay, guys, let me move on. I'll share some more of my thoughts um, next. Okay, let's chat a bit about the subscription. So I did get these a little bit early. So this time um, you do have time to sign up for the subscription box and get these colors if you love them, which how can you not? <laughs> anyway, so you have until June 20th to sign up for, for the subscription and you'll pick up these colors. And also um, you can sign up for her newsletter. So it is a separate, you do have to specifically sign up for that newsletter and she will send you spoilers every month. So she'll send you an email with the theme. She also posts the theme on Facebook, on, in her Facebook group. But in your email, it'll say the theme. It'll, um, and as you scroll down, you do see like, this is gonna be a spoiler, you know? So you can back out if you want to. But she gives you the description of each nail polish and um, in this month, it, so I've only gotten two so far. It's, this is kind of new, the spoiler. Um, so in this month, it was a bottle shot and um, a thumb swatch of each one. And also, just to let you know, when I signed up for the newsletter, it did go straight into my junk mail. So I think I, I, that I've heard that happen to a couple people you know, on their Facebook group. So just make sure you check for that. And then once you get it, you know, you flag it, not junk, and then you don't have to worry about it going there anymore. And then also you can skip. So you say you look at these polish and they're just not for you, but you know, if, and, and you're like me, you love cuticula, you don't want to cancel. You could just skip that month and then keep on going with the next ones or, you know, something comes up. I mean, every, I'm real, I'm real. <laughs> I try to be responsible. Not every month um, we should be spending, you know, things come up. Anyways, my point is if you need to, you have that option to skip and you do not have to cancel. And one more thing, so many things. Who knew I can make a long video for two polishes? <laughs> I bet you guys knew. Anyways, so in the um, swatch photos, you can see that I did have a base coat on. I love Cuticula's base coats and top coats. Honestly, I would always use her base coat and top coat if she had a refill bottle. Now, you know, we're, we're becoming best friends. <laughs> Me and Amanda. 
<laughs> so no, I'm just kidding. We're not like real best friends. So I don't have any sway on what she does, but let me tell you, I love, love her top coat. So she does often put her top coats in polish pickup. So if you shop there, you can pick one up without having to also order from her website. Anyways, my point is this is the base coat that I am wearing. It is, um, mic drop base coat. And it is, I want to say it's called mic drop because it's multiple things in one, like ridge feeler, long lasting wear. Um, so, and the scent. So you can get unscented if you're not into scents. Now I love her scents. Let me just say, I love her scent. I, there's a lot of scents to choose from. So you could choose and then polish pickup. She puts different scents in there, but I'm like a creature of habit. Let me tell you, I ordered this in pink sugar and then I ordered the top coat. This is, um, limitless fast dry top coat, which I love so much. Um, I also ordered this in pink sugar and I got another. So I, she makes, um, like neutralizing base coats cause I have yellow nails. So I've got the neutralizing base coat in pink sugar, <laughs> but the scent lasts. It's not like so strong. You're just going to smell it all day, but it actually does last the next day. You know, if my hands come up here and I, I could smell them and that it does make me smile because well, because nail polish makes me happy and I do like scented products. So I use scented hand lotions. Anyways, if you like scented products, she does that ha have that option for you. But if you don't like it, you have unscented option as well because her, um, base coat and top coat perform well. So, even if you don't like scents, you're going to love them. Okay, guys, that's enough for me. <laughs> I'll let you guys go, but I will see you again real soon. Bye.